What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we're on top of a parking garage in downtown Orlando, and I could not be more excited to bring you guys this video. A lot of you guys have been requesting this over the past couple of weeks. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at my baby. So guys, this is my new Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport. I am so excited to bring you guys this video. I absolutely love this vehicle. And I'm gonna be showing you guys the inside and out. We're gonna be talking all about it. It's gonna be awesome. It's a 2015. It's got about 4,200 miles on it. So it's still essentially brand new. And uh, I mean, as you guys can see, this thing, it's crazy. It's got all kinds of modifications. It's sitting at about six foot seven inches. I'm about like six four, six five. So it's weird having a vehicle that's taller than I am. But uh, it's amazing, man. It's crazy. Um, in terms of gas mileage, I know a lot of people are gonna ask about that. It's getting about 15, 15 and a half, something like that as a mix of city and highway, which really isn't that good. But I don't think it's too bad either for having a big truck on huge tires. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of the price you pay. But uh, let's hop into this thing. So I know there are gonna be some people out there that want a detailed list of every single customization. If you guys want that, I'm gonna put it down in the description, but let's talk about the highlights. So up front here, we have some custom truck light headlights. Then up top, we have Rigid Industries D2 LEDs. Those are so bright, they're illegal to drive with them on, but uh, they're really useful if you're like out in the country where it's not well lit, or you know, if you wanna light something up and put a spotlight on somebody, you can do that, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, up top here, we actually have a custom hood. This is from Mopar. It's the Rubicon X vented hood. It adds vents for a little bit better airflow, not to mention it makes it look way more aggressive and way better than just a plain flat hood, which is awesome. Up front here, we have a VPR bumper for the front bumper, and it's also got an 8,000 pound winch on it. So if you guys get stuck, I can pull you out. Easily one of the most unique things about the vehicle is the paint job right here. So you guys can see it's a very rigid, tough texture. It's not like normal paint. They call it the Kevlar paint job. Really, it's a little bit more like bed liner. So it's super durable, it's super tough to scratch, and it's actually porous. So when you get stuff on it, it kind of like sucks into it and goes away. So you don't ever really have to clean this thing. In fact, I'm not supposed to use soap on it. I'm just supposed to hose it down, and that's how you clean it. Down here, we have some 20 inch fuel Honza wheels with the blue ring around to match the paint job, which I think looks absolutely insane. We also have the fuel logo inside the rim is painted that same blue color. It's all the little details that matter, but uh, these things are wrapped in 37 inch Toyo Trail Grappler RTs. And uh, behind that is a Pro Comp Stage 2 suspension with Fox Racing shocks. So this thing looks fantastic on the outside, but it's also very, very trail capable. Now I haven't taken it on a serious off-road trail yet. I definitely plan on doing that and making a video for you guys, but uh, this isn't just a pretty thing. It's not just a road princess where it's only gonna see paved roads. I plan on taking this thing off-road and it looks good doing it. So I guess you could say it's good in the streets, and in the sheets. Now back here is definitely my favorite part of the vehicle. This is what truly makes it custom and makes it mine. The third brake light right here has a custom cut cover with my YouTube logo. So when I hit the brakes, the smoke tail lights on each side light up, and then also the T Martin logo lights up, which is absolutely insane. That about covers the exterior. Let's go ahead and hop inside, but first check this out. When you open up the doors, it's got electric steps that will fold down with LED lights to help you get inside. It is a hot one out there in Orlando today, but anyway, the interior is just as beautiful as the exterior on this thing. For the seats, they are black Napa leather with diamond quilted color contrast stitching. Never in my life did I ever think I'd have a vehicle that had that, but you guys can see it's got that light blue stitching to match the exterior and the rims and everything else. Like I said, the little, little details really make this thing amazing. Up top for our head unit, we have a Pioneer AVIC 8000 NX or NEX, something like that. It's got everything you could ask for. It's got, you know, built-in navigation, Bluetooth, all kinds of multimedia, like SD cards and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. It's even got Apple CarPlay built in, so my car will read my text messages to me and I can speak back to it to send texts away. Uh, you know, Spotify, Pandora, all my music, everything is all in one spot, which is really, really cool. But the real place where the interior kicks butt is in the back. Get, 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 get low when the 
These are two 10 inch kicker comp R's powered by a kicker KX 800.5 amplifier in a custom enclosure. So this is removable if you want to take it out and haul something, but uh, it's all custom. It's got the, the leather in the back with Jeep embossed on it. It even has LED lights, which looks super, super sick at night. And up front, there's actually a bass knob underneath the kind of lip of the center console that I can turn up for more bass and down for less bass. So, I mean, you know, depending on what type of music you're listening to or you see a cop rolling by or something like that, you can turn it down instantly and it's almost like you have nothing in there, which is really cool. Now, speaking of this center console, I bet you guys are wondering what these two mischievous looking red buttons are doing here. So this one right here is to be able to turn on those super bright LED lights up top in the front. And then this one down below, check this out. Dropped out of school, now we done rich. Done rich. This sound like some 4301 shit. Yeah, let's go boys. All right, so we've got some blue underglow in all of the wheel wells. Looks super, super sick at night. So all of that is fantastic. It's an absolutely beautiful vehicle, very practical, a lot of fun, and just absolutely insane. I love it to death. But let's talk about the real reason why I wanted to get a Jeep. Who knows the answer? It's a convertible. This thing is the perfect vehicle to enjoy the sun, especially down here in Florida when it's summer almost all year long. Perfect for just cruising, going to the beaches, whatever else. You guys can see there's tons of sand in my floor mats because I take this thing to the beach all the time. And that's because you can go fully topless, which is amazing. So it kind of goes into two sections. You have what they call freedom panels up front, which if you guys have ever had like a T-top car, it's kind of like a T-top. So basically the roof right above the driver and passenger seat goes away. And then there's also this part from here on backwards that's a little bit more complicated to take off. It's still really easy. It just takes two people and that entire thing can come off as well. So uh, I'll show you guys how we do the T-tops. There are three little latches that you turn. So there's one right here, one right here above the center console. There's one back here above your head. There's a latch here that you pull down and then you have a little screw thing right here that you unscrew. We're topless. And this is what it looks like from the inside, just completely open to the air. My goodness, it's so, it feels so good. Like just cruising with the windows down, getting some sun on you, especially on this gamer skin. Man, I just, I absolutely love it. Now, if you wanted to go fully topless and not only have this, but all of this gone as well, everything from here all the way back, it's fairly easy. Like I said, you just need two people to be able to lift it, unless you have a hoist, which I might get so I can do it myself. But uh, basically, there are six bolts, three on each side that you use an Allen wrench for back here in the back bed, and that's it. You take those six out, and then it just lifts right up. Also, I haven't even done this yet, but I plan on doing it very, very soon. You can actually take all four of the doors off as well. So to be able to do that, you just take out these two hinge bolts on each door, and once you get those out, there are these little kind of like stop things and make it so they don't fly all the way open. And then you pretty much just lift the door up and take it off, which is insane. So you can go around doorless or you can even get little accessories of little doors that have like mesh sides or kind of like strapped sides. So it's open, but you also can't fall out. So I don't know. It's just, it's absolutely insane. So technically this thing could be absolutely nothing. No doors, no roof just what's under your feet. Anyway guys, there you have it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Like I said, this thing is my baby. I absolutely love it to death and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Big shout out to Ultimate Auto here in Orlando. It's actually the company that did all of this custom work. They do Jeeps, they also do like crazy supercars and stuff like that. So if you guys want to, send them a tweet and just say like, thanks, T. Martin's Jeep is dope or something like that. I really appreciate that. No, I'm not sponsoring anything. They just did a fantastic job. And I'm thinking about bringing my GTR into them. Let me know if you guys think I should do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace out.